Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom, bringing you guys another video. In today's video, we're going to cover how you and your friend can 1v1. I know a lot of people playing this game want to try and play their friends and see who's better at the game and stuff like that. And it's hard to tell when you're not 1v1ing each other. So guys, right now there's no custom games or anything like that. So there's a secret technique that you have to do in order to play with your friends or something like that. Or 1v1 your, your friend or anything like that. So that's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video. But keep in mind, you have to do it exactly like this. You got to be careful when you're doing this because people can report you for cheating so if you do get reported too many times they could ban your account so keep in mind not to do it specifically don't team up it's nothing about teaming up if you guys get in the same lobby together it's all 100% a free-for-all you got to fight it completely on your own you can't team up you can't team up and try and kill the same person to try to stay alive if there's three people on you and you're 1v1ing each other you got to fight it out just try the next lobby who, who knows maybe the next lobby it'll be a little bit easier but basically with that being said let's get into the video first step that you want to do is make sure that you and your friend are on the same server as each other. Now how you do this is you go into your settings and there's NA East, NA West, uh, South America, like China, stuff like that. There's all kinds of different servers. Make sure you and your friend are playing on the same exact server. It's going to make things, basically that's the only way to do it. If you're playing on different servers, it's going to be extremely rare that you guys get into a game together. It can happen, but it's going to be extremely rare. So make sure you're on the same server. That's step number one. Now the next thing that you want to do is make sure you and your friend are in a party chat together so you guys can actually talk and communicate and make sure you're at your solo game mode ready to just push triangle or Y or anything like that to ready up basically you got to be able to ready up at the same exact time you're going to count down to three and on three you guys both push ready at the same time try to get in the same lobby together and this that's going to look a little bit like this you guys tell me one all right one two three Now you both should be looking for a match at the same exact time. Sometimes it's not gonna work, but for us it was actually working very quick. It probably worked every two or three tries. So guys, again, keep in mind, you're gonna have to try it more than once. Now remember to communicate with your friend who's in the party chat. Let them know that, hey, I'm in a game. If they're not in a game yet, just wait a second because sometimes it takes a little bit longer for one person to connect to the same game as you. But in order to find out if you're in the same game, all you have to do is go to the mini map and let them know where the bus is flying over from what direction and what direction it's ending at. That's going to look something like this, you guys. Uh, daytime from Greasy to Anarchy. All right, I like that. Uh... Now, after you find out that the battle bus is going in the same direction as each other, to make it 100% sure that you guys are in the same exact game, if you guys look at my name up in the top left, exotic motion underscore YT, at the very top above that, there's like a very small writing, a little code there. That tells you what game you're in and what server. So at the very end of that coding, read off the last four digits of that code to your friend if it's the same exact code as your friend it's basically the same exact game you guys are in the same lobby so all you have to do is play from there on out this is what that's gonna look like one c21 one c21 baby <laughs> let's go so as you guys can see we got in the same lobby together guys again if you do this probably out of three times it should work one time it doesn't take that much if you really want to 1v1 and see who's a better person who's better out of your friends just do this it takes some patience it works and it's actually really fun just make sure you're not cheating if you ever see people never team up in this game i don't encourage teaming up you're gonna get banned it does happen to a lot of people so if you do get in the same lobby make sure you actually play it out fair so if if your teammate's getting shot by somebody don't sit there and shoot that person that's shooting your teammate literally fight your teammate kill your teammate it's okay you can do it again the next time it's better to play it safe and not cheat than to actually sit there and get banned for something so small but with that being said you guys can watch me and bricky 1v1 right here What's up, Cameron? No! Dang, I'm choking. Word. Word, word. Word, 
awkward. Come on, John. Let's let's settle this a different way, dude. There, there's a storm coming, dude. Nah, bro. <laughs> no! Get out of here! Fuck! Get out of yeah, here! Bro, that's so annoying, dude. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, literally, you were like, bro, you were literally just like always at an angle where you were just like able to just one tap me. Like literally every time you were just at an angle to one tap me. So as you guys can see, it is a lot of fun. You guys can see who's the better person. You can do it more than once. But again, I want to tell you guys, keep in mind, please do not cheat. This is not cheating. As long as you're not teaming up, it's not cheating. There's nothing wrong with this. But keep in mind, people can report you. So if they do report you, if you have the same exact gamer tag as your friend, like we do exotic, make sure to have it recorded. So that way, if anything happens, you have proof that you guys were not cheating. It was just an honest 1v1. So you can always get your account back. I mean, it's just to be safe, you know, just to be 100% safe. But here's another other time we 1v1 right now. I got four kills. Peep the feed, Those Cameron. Peep it. Van huh? peeped it. That's me coming for yo ass. Yo booty You think that was cheeks. me? No, no, I knew it wasn't you. It was a John Wick. There's somebody around me. I don't know where you ended up going. But the circle, from my calculations, peep the feed, Cameron. Peep it. That's what's coming for your head. Oh, hey there. Oh, there's freaking trees in my way. Where did this guy go? Oh. Oh, someone else is here, Cameron. I know. I hate to burst your bubble, but... I, I ran out of mad state. Dude, <laughs> yo, you you melted me, yo. You, you definitely melted me at first when that uh when I was about to loot that one guy. Bro, you put up a ramp when I was trying to put up a ramp, so it like blocked it and I couldn't do anything. Yeah, no. So there you guys have it. That's how you get into the same exact lobby as your friend and you guys can actually 1v1. Now keep in mind how we did it. Uh, you can do it two different ways. You can either land somewhere completely outside the map at your own city and then loot your own city and then fight each other, meet up and fight each other. Or you can do what me and Bricky did where the second we got into a lobby together, we just didn't tell each other anything. I didn't tell him where I landed. He didn't tell me where he landed. And we played it out to be a normal solo game. We did no communication as in callouts of, hey, there's someone on me. I need help or anything like that. We literally 
just played it out normally in hopes that we ran into each other eventually now the only thing that's hard about that is it's not a guarantee that you guys are going to be able to make it to the end to find each other because you or your teammate could end up dying by some random person in the lobby so keep in mind the best thing to do if you want to do it quick and easy i say is just someone land like greasy grove someone land shifty shafts once you're finished looting that place then you guys meet up in the middle that's exactly how i did it with my boy gommel but those are the two different ways that you guys can actually do it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up appreciate all the love and support again thank you guys for everything i hope you guys actually go out there and try it let me know down in the comments below if it worked for you but i'll see you guys later peace